the final chapter here on all about bodylanguage.com where we're talking about lying and deception. So in the first chapter we talked about the myths associated with lie catching and we talked about how uh, one of the myths is that liars will avert their gaze, uh, which we talked about that is always the case. And we also talked about how liars will often exhibit nervous behaviours. Uh, and in the first chapter we also talked about how that was indeed a myth. Second chapter, we talked about uh, reliable indicators of deceit, and we talked about how there are more verbal than visual cues to deceit. And we just covered a couple of these uh, little numbers, and we talked about how uh, speech hesitations, uh, long pauses before answers are again reliable indicators of deceit if the stakes are high. And we also talked about how increased cognitive load plays a role in reduced behavioural innovation. And we also talked about how our hands often quite freeze um, during high stakes lives because we're not always in control of which hand gestures we give off. So in the third chapter, today we're going to talk about uh, the emotions that are associated with high stakes lives. Uh, and we've got three primary emotions uh, that a liar must uh, feel or, or have sensations of uh, during high stakes lives. And the first one is a primary emotion, which is guilt. Now, a liar must feel guilt uh, or remorse about what he or, or she, he or her has done um, to invoke a, a reaction from someone or a high stakes lie. So, we're talking about guilt uh, in this respect. Uh, the second one is going to be fear. Now, the fear can be felt for a number of different and it can be the fear of what people might think of them uh, if they get caught, uh, or the fear of the punishment, uh, or the fear of the consequence. So fear plays a big part in high stakes lies. Now the third one is something that not a lot of people are aware of in a liar, and it's delight. And it can be delight at the fact that they can see that somebody else is getting punished for their wrongdoing, uh, or it's the delight that um, the impression management that they are giving off isn't arousing suspicion. So they are in fact getting away with the deceit and somebody else is being punished for it. So again, so you've got three primary emotions associated with uh, high stakes lies. Now these high stakes lies are the ones which have a severe punishment for getting caught and these are not necessarily the small white lies which we generally tell throughout our daily lives. So just to recap, from the start we talked about in the first video we talked about body language myths, about uh, increased uh, gaze aversion, we also talked about nervous behaviours. In the second video we looked at researched and reliable indicators of deceit, we talked about there is more verbal than visual cues, we talked about speech hesitations and long pauses before answers uh, and the effect that cognitive load has on the rest of the body. And in this section, we talked about the three emotional states that a lion must feel, uh, must feel um, to exhibit these verbal and non-verbal cues to disease. We talked about guilt, fear and delight. So for more information about body language, then please check out allaboutbodylanguage.com. Check out the link below uh, and we're going to do some more videos on flirting and dating, interview techniques uh, and other fascinating um, indicators of deceit down the way as well. So there you go. So any questions, comments or feedback, please leave a message in the guestbook and I will see you all soon.